rumor has it, rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, 50 Cent was doing an interview with Big Boy and got to discussing a couple of things. Well, one, he has a bunch of new shows that's actually about to hit TV. One of them, of course, is my show with Caesar, which is a, a real estate show, which we should be seeing by uh, the summertime. Also, Y'all he's doing... shooting already? Yeah, we started shooting already, prepping and everything. Wow. That's why you got the nose Yo, job. shut up, man. That's wild. Yo, shut up, man. Now, that's all making sense now. The East New York and the news TV show. I get it. I get it. Shut up. It looks like he's taking the 8 Mile to TV, where it's going to be, I guess, more of a, a TV series. It's going to be 8 Mile television series. He said Eminem approved it, so he's working on that. And also, he's going to have three new spinoffs from uh, the BMF series. So Come on, man. he's working at it as well. Drop on the clues bombs for Curtis. Jackson. Well, I keep telling y'all what he's doing in the television space is remarkable. It's remarkable. You know, he don't even have a, a, a deal right now. Mm-mm. So he's just really doing business any way he want to be. That's right. Now, he also talked about uh, the Super Bowl uh, commercial and, and him performing at the Super Bowl and how him and Jay don't necessarily see eye to eye on some things. I wasn't in the ad right. because of look, Jay-Z and them was putting it together. So I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. You think you were purposely left out of the ad? No, no. I, oh, okay. I don't think I think that they they, they were saying the NFL has some issues with me that um, I don't know what those issues are. With him, because like with Nori, Nori was... He had uh, communication. He said, yeah, I, saw, I talked to the big homie. He was saying, so Jay, he was telling me, you know, the white boy wouldn't do the truth without without 50. That's when I start saying crazy stuff, because I, I look and I go, oh. Did you and Jay-Z ever have a conversation, or nah, y'all in to, different offices, as far yeah, as like? We don't need to talk about nothing. I heard that. Now, who edited the Basquiat line? Well, I yeah. know one of y'all edited the Basquiat line. No, nah, I didn't edit it. We actually have it here. Okay. Oh. And so so you, you, you image yourself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh, my God. I think I know where we're going with so this. So now, look, what I'm saying to you is, look, when you start looking at... It's, it, that's not mine. That's theirs. They're hard for it, right? But M is looking at the entire legacy. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing, like with, with M... Dre and myself, like the, I'm a shady aftermath. You see what I'm saying? Like it do so much G unit, G unit records. Right. They forget that I'm I'm in, in Dre's artist. You know, I I don't believe Jay Z feels that way about Fifty at all. <laughs> I don't believe that. Uh, Fifty is a competitor. This we know. Yes. And Fifty studies the Forty Eight Laws of Power, and in the Forty Eight Laws of Power says if you don't have enemies, create them. And Fifty competes with anyone in whatever space he's in. When it's TV, he goes after TV people. You saw when he go after Mm -hmm. Empire and Taraji P. Henson and whoever else. And, you know, when it's moguls, he goes after the other hip-hop moguls. The Diddy, the Jay-Zs of the world. I don't don't believe Jay-Z had any ill feelings towards 50 performing at the Super Bowl. Uh And also... uh, It was a great look for hip-hop. I think it was a great look for hip-hop. Amazing look for hip-hop. So it it makes makes Jay Jay and Rock Nation look good regardless. Now he also talks about uh, how he wished Tony Ayo was bigger than him. The beauty of how Gio did work is my solo album took off so big Mm -hmm. that I just brought them with me. So it was clear that it was me creating the opportunity for for everybody else in the crew. But we was all together. I I wish it would have been Ayo. Why? Because then I could have did all of the business. Does that, when you say do all the business and... If he would have been 50 Cent big, right. then I would have been running the whole thing. You see what I'm saying? Is, do you think that is better for you or you is it different for you? Uh, then we then it would still be two of us. It would still be... Gotcha. He'd still be 50 Cent as the artist and, and out there. And I'd be probably the largest asset to us. Yeah, so he wanted his artist to be actually bigger than him, he said on that big boy interview. Yeah, I understand what he's saying, but there's only, uh, you know, one one fifty cent. I, I don't think... But we, I guess he said it kind of like Lil Wayne. Like, Lil Wayne's an artist, but, you know, Drake is bigger than Lil Wayne. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know? th- those are anomalies. When you look at Dr. Dre, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, and even an Eminem, to find somebody that's, you know, just as big as you are bigger, that's mm-hmm. rare. Yeah. That's rare. It's only like it's only a few people that have done that. I just named them: Dr. Dre, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, and Eminem. Yep, (laughs) that's rare air, bro. All right, 
Well, that is your rumor report. Now, uh, when we come back, we got the People's Choice Mix. Get your request in. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.